Okay, so we're in the car now. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to actually set up. All you need to do is plug an antenna in and plug a mains cable in. So as I said, we've got James's ammo box here, which has got a battery backup in. And I'm gonna plug that into the cigarette lighter, into the repeater, and then we've got an external antenna here, which we're gonna plug in as well. So as I say, it's really straightforward. We're just gonna get the repeater and plug that PL plug in there. Screw that into place. And then if we open up this ammo box, like so. Okay, and then we'll just plug the 12 volt plug that comes with the repeater into there. And then that just goes one way into the repeater itself. And as you can see, we've got some power. I'm gonna give James a shout now and we'll see, uh, see how well he's receiving us. Okay, James, are you receiving? Yeah, brilliant. So you can hear the uh, the little tail squelch on the repeater there. So it's definitely working. We're definitely going through the repeater. Um, how's it sounding, James? You come through, five and nine, five and nine. Radio, absolutely amazing radio, Rog. Absolutely amazing radio audio there. Um, so, I'm making you going to be sharing the map a little bit later on, but we're looking at probably about six miles now that's between us. Yeah, if my calculations are correct on Google Earth before, there's around six miles between us. I'm going to put it on the screen, but yeah, you're five and nine, crystal clear into the repeater, and the repeater is a crystal clear five and nine with me, uh, James. So I'm pretty impressed, really impressed. You know what? In fact, you wouldn't even if you didn't hear the tail squelch, you wouldn't know there was a repeater between us. So I think it's uh, I think it's safe to say it's working well. I just said for the video, it's um, it's on a decent power supply, i.e. that battery and a decent antenna on your car anyway, so yeah, it's working well. Yeah, well, this is our thing, really. it's not just the, uh, you know, the long wrenches there, I mean, even if you use a proper, uh, proper repeater, I'll turn you a repeater, you, you get uh, a bit more distortion than this. I'm, I'm fairly amazed, and I'm very, very impressed, to be honest. It's like one of this is working. I'm just thinking all the applications for camping and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking that myself for something like camping or for outdoor use or for events or even for emergency situations. Uh, I think it's definitely got its place, James. Um, I said in the first part of this uh, this series on this repeater that it was a great proof of concept device from uh, from Retivis. Uh, you know, a, a, you know, a cheap, really cheap budget repeater that actually works. Yeah, I'm I'm really impressed. Really impressed. Like I say, if you didn't, if you couldn't hear the tail squelch, you would think we were just talking on simplex. Really, it's uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, back to you. Yeah, definitely. The, the, the squelch in the end, not as big as you'd normally get on uh, top of the piece, is it? But definitely, I'm absolutely loving this. I'll be really curious, you know, for me to uh, keep on walking and uh, try out through the range. These ones don't get lost. So fuck it. Yeah, no worries. I've been sort of walking since we've been talking, so. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm probably, well, I'm getting a, probably 100 metres away from my car now, where we first started. Um, so yeah, I'm still walking. I'll tell you what, James, I don't know about where you are, if you're in any shelter, but I'm uh, I'm absolutely frozen here. I've got gloves on, but it's it's freezing cold. Yeah, I've got two white gloves on the other day, and I'm there, Lewis. Listen, uh, I walked probably about 100 yards away from where you dropped me off. I found a nice friendly tree to hold in my cabin for me. So uh, that's been the tripod for me. But uh, I've only been a walk around this for a few days, driving, and uh, this is the best location to do that. Um, absolutely, mate. I'm still talking over this. Generally impressed yeah, with this. Yeah, it's good, James. I'm still walking this side, still walking. I think I had the volume turned up too loud on this radio, so I've turned down a bit now, so I'll be interested to see what your audio is like next time. Oh, my nose is streaming on the camera as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sort of heading down a bit of a dip now, James. It'll be interesting to see if the signal quality is affected at all. I'm walking through a load of like bracken and thorn bushes down this track uh, into the middle of the chase, the part of the chase that I'm on. And uh, it'll be interesting to see, now I've gone down a bit of a dip. The camera's not picking up well, but I've gone down a bit of a dip. I'm sort of, I think I'm below the horizon line of um, where the repeater is between you and I now. Back to you. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, yeah, roughly uh, 
picture where you are then that's not a problem now beautiful audio beautiful audio it's not changed much i know that uh, i was talking a bit too close to the mic earlier i hope that wasn't what was uh, giving you the uh, the audio issues but um no i can't uh, i can't speak highly enough of these um i'd love to know did you say it was a 10 10 watt output on this i can't remember if it was a 10 watt or not yeah, 10 watt output, James. 10 watt output. Uh, no, it wasn't you. I just had the radio turned up far too much. I don't full volume. It doesn't need it. Um, yeah, it's 10 watt output. So that's another thing that's good. You can put it on a small antenna. You could even put it on. In, you could even put it on sort of like a quarter wave whip. You know, like one of the Nagoya style antennas, um, um, James, because it's got the low output power. It's, uh, you know, those antennas are sort of perfect for that sort of stuff. It's like a 50 watt repeat, I wouldn't want to use one of them, but it's it's good. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's definitely working well. Um, yeah, I'm heading sort of heading back towards the car now because it's cold, cold. Um, so I'm not sure how you're holding up there, James, but my hand that's holding the camera feels like it's going to fall off. Just as cold as me, my friend. I'm going to have to get the car on when we get back to the car. Uh, let's get another blue one once we uh, tie up a few ends. Um, you know what? 10 watts is absolutely ample in the right circumstances, using the right antenna. I suppose where you use will know 10 watts is absolutely ample. So it even wasn't 10. It's down to the antenna, isn't it, Rod? But uh, no, the Nagoya antenna, maximum 10 watts, still rubber ducky. That'll be uh, a great old trial, that would. That'd be very interesting to see how I get that on. Yeah, that could be one for next time, James. Definitely. Right, I'm going to go back to the car. I'm going to come pick you up, so I'll be there in 15 minutes. So uh, hang in there in the cold and cheers for the test. We'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, I'll stay on channel. I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap this video up. Okay, so we're back at the car now. Uh, temperature's dropping all the time. Light's starting to dip now. We're getting on to sort of late afternoon, so uh, we're going to wrap that one up. But I'm sure you'll agree it was a decent test on the repeater. Uh, it was plugged into the external antenna on the battery back up there, and it performed really well. Uh, as I say, there was about around six miles between us, which is around 10 kilometres, I think. I'll put the... Plus trees and all yeah, the terrain yeah, yeah. as well. It worked really well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I didn't yeah. think it'd work as well as it did. Uh, we got you know really good five and nine communications there out of it, so... Happy with that, 